Hi everyone, it is Chrissy Evy, and today I would like to talk to you about the best way to use a container. I so, 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 so love organization, and I like containers. I like seeing things neatly put away. I've always been like that. I didn't grow into it. I've always liked organization and containing things, and organization and containing things. Before we get started, I would like to show you my trip to the container store. All right, so this is like one of the best stores ever invented. <laughs> it is a store of containers. Containers, things that hang things, things that you put things in, things that hang things, things that you put things in, things that hang things, things that you put things in. And I like organization, so this is great. Here with this one over here. Yeah, what does it look like in here? Nice. Yeah, it's, it feels good too, doesn't it? Look over there, it's tatters. You mean the hangers over there? So what's that smell, Lottie? I don't know, what does that smell? I think it smells like containers. It smells like containers? Yeah, let me smell that, see if it's that smell. Go ahead, go over there. It smells like cookies. Hey, kids. Hopey. This should be the store for you when you get bigger since you like to organize so well. Okay, let me get going. Containers everywhere. Just containers. Things that contain. Things that contain. Okay. Baby! Stop playing with me. Is that a water thingy, my Bob? Future project. Double tier uh, expandable okay. under the sink organizer. Oh, look at this. It's a hamster. Get up in the world. The things you do at the store. Oh boy. Meanwhile, Puff is out sleep. I kept saying, Jen, what in the world is a water light? <laughs> Look what it says. <gasps> water tight. <laughs> Sorry, yes, it's funny. I think I found what I'm looking for. Right here. No, I can probably get this somewhere cheaper. Interesting filter. You can't get it open. the beginning, right? Hope he was just being a spider girl. Eliza, you're missing all the fun. So we're out of this joint. Puffy is missing out on like all of the fun. So what do you think about the store, Eliza? Mm -hmm. And uh, did you like the containers in the store? And uh, would you like to come back again? All right. So I like organization and containing things. So here are a few steps you can take to get you started in the best way to contain things. Number one, locate the items you wish to contain. Real easy, right? You have to have something to contain in order to use a container. I have selected my GoPro accessories to contain. Step number two, select a container to contain the items you wish to contain. Step number three, place the items in the container in an organized fashion. This can feel like a puzzle, but puzzles are fun. This is where your packing skills pay off. Step number four, place the lid on the container. The goal of this whole best way to use a container thing is to make sure all of your items fit neatly into a container so that you can actually close the lid. Step number five, place a container in a selected place so that you can easily reference it. There's no point in containing anything in a container if you're putting the container in different locations in your house all the time and cannot remember where you place it. <laughs> Voila! You're done. You have now been a partaker of the best way to contain things in a container. But there is this one thing that is so hard to be contained. It wants to burst out all over the place. You should just let it make a scene. That thing is your joy in the Lord. Man, 
then when Jesus comes in your heart and he makes it brand new, it is so very difficult to go throughout your day, not smile, not be happy, not be excited, not to let that light that has been poured in your heart be expressed in somebody's life and in somebody's atmosphere and in somebody's world. It just spills out. If you try to contain it, sometimes you just burst. The love and the joy of Jesus is so very difficult to contain because his love is something that you just want to shout out from the rooftops, uh, from the mountaintops, from the skyscraper tops. You just want to tell everyone about the love of Jesus. 2 Corinthians 4, 7 says, we have this treasure from God, but we are only like clay jars that hold the treasure. This is to show that the amazing power we have is from God and not from us. We are just earthen vessels. He is this all powerful thing that is like bursting out of this clay house that we are and this wonderful awesome power is very difficult to contain. When people see the joy and the love of Jesus in your heart and in your life just pouring out of you, it could make them say, hmm, I wonder what they got. Something spilling out of them and I can't quite put my finger on it. I want whatever it is that they have. And then it gives you an opportunity to tell someone about this love and this joy that is just so difficult to contain. So the best way to use a container like us is to just let the love of Jesus spill out. There you have it. If you saw or heard anything in this video that you liked, please give me a thumbs up. If you would like to leave a comment, please do that. Leave it in the comment section below. And if you would like to subscribe to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and make sure you click on the bell for notifications. I try to have a video posted on YouTube every Saturday, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until next time, have a great day. Toodles. Thank you.